I'm going to be doing a review, a try on of these cargo pants that I got from Urban Outfitters for like $200. Hey guys, it's Tiana. I'm very much blind and very sleepy because I woke up at 5 p.m. today and it's already freaking dark outside and I haven't even gotten ready for the day yet and I don't even have my contacts in and my vision is so bad. It's like negative six, so I'm basically blind. So usually these pants are not like $200. They're actually like $79 or like $80 each and I saw them on my TikTok and also on my Instagram like homepage and they looked really, really cute. So I was like, I need to get these and also I don't have like cargo pants in my little like closet or whatever and so i needed to like upgrade my wardrobe the reason why they were like 200 dollars was because i bought two of them one in cream and one in brown and i wear a size medium in these pants and i was like if i don't buy these someone will because there's only like one left in medium of the cream i was like i might as well just buy it right and then i also wanted them really bad because i'm very impatient and i love instant gratification so i was like i'm just gonna pay for one day shipping which was an additional 30 dollars so i was like i'm already spending like over 100 dollars on these pants i might as well just spend more and get them sooner and i wanted them before the holiday so they came in these are my cargo pants so they are the bdg cargo pants from urban outfitters i'll have the tag on this one i actually don't have an urban outfitters in my city so i decided to like order these online so i don't know where they sent these to me from but they're here i'm probably gonna have to put on like a tighter shirt so you can really like see the effect of the cargo and if my eyes go cross-eyed during this video please don't make fun of me because like when i said i'm blind like i'm actually blind like to the point where like if i stare at something for too long my eyes will go cross-eyed what shirt should i wear i have a a lot of random clothes in this bag that i got let's see maybe i'll just wear like a crop top or something let me pick out a crop top oh this one's nice this is a really nice crop top this is a crop top that i got from forever 21 in florida while i was there and it's like same material as like a workout like sports bra almost but it, you can also wear it as a crop top so freaking cute bathroom is no longer occupied so i can actually put on my contacts okay so i'll show you guys the cream ones first and then let's see if they're cute if they're actually worth 200 dollars so these are the cream cargos and i am so obsessed with them because like one thing that really surprised me about these cargo pants was the fact that they are not heavy at all like i completely expected cargo pants to feel really heavy and like have a really heavy like rough jean material almost but these are actually like super thin fabric and so now i'm like wondering like are these actually worth like $79? Because the material is actually very like thin, but it's lightweight. So like, it looks great. Personally, for me, I really like the look of like all the wrinkles and stuff. I'm definitely going to change out of my crop top because it's way too cold for a crop top out. And I'm going to be getting hot pot later. So this is not a reasonable outfit, but this would be so cute in like the summer and stuff. And I'm going to Texas in like two days. So this might be a fit that I wear to Texas. Makes me a little bit excited. Yeah, these are the cream ones. They have a lot of pockets. Can't really see that much, but I'm obsessed. These pants we're going to do are the brown ones so these are like the chocolate brown ones the thing about these cargo pants is that they're supposed to be like relaxed fit low rise and like it's actually been so long since i last wore a pair of like low rise pants because i think the last time i wore low rise pants was like eighth grade and so it's a little weird like having my belly button out again if it's trendy if it's stylish then i guess i understand it but these are the chocolate brown ones i still haven't figured out what i would pair with these yet i feel like cream is very versatile and brown is more like a statement you feel me but i have been really into like neutrals and stuff so like yeah i think they're really cute they fit very well they feel very lightweight not too heavy not too bulky 200 dollars cargo pants let's hope they last a long time i love the look of these like this is the first time i've seen my cargo pants on with like a cropped up and they really do give like y2k snatched vibe which i am living for since i'm going to get hot pot and i still need to get ready for the day i'm just gonna do my final review while i wash my face would i recommend these cargo pants costed 200 dollars for both yes i would if you can get a better deal on them though like on Depop or like Poshmark, I would highly recommend buying it from that. A little pause while I wash my face. I'm going to Texas two days, as I said earlier, but I don't know why. It might be like wintertime depression, but recently the idea of traveling seems more tiring than like fun. But it also might just be because like I've traveled so much this year. Like this year, I already went to Florida earlier this year. And then I went to Chicago for a rave. And then I went to Chicago again for like the Blackpink concert. And then now I'm going to Texas. And then after Texas, a week or two after, I'm going to Florida again. And so it's just like back to back packing and like getting on a plane and stuff. And that's like really tiring and a little stressful for me especially the packing part but i'm hoping to eat a lot of good food in texas i'll probably vlog like my experience in texas because i've never been there before and i don't really know what to expect because like does texas have any like major like landmarks or like tourist attractions if any recommendations in texas let me know if you've been there before but let's go get some hot pot <music>
don't wear socks with my shoes. That's probably so gross, but I just can't with it. I just can't. I don't like the feeling. Every time we come here, we always get two broths. The pork bone broth and the hot and spicy broth because when you mix the two together, it tastes so freaking good. And then a ton of beef too, because for some reason, the beef here is like so freaking good. It's been below freezing in Nebraska recently, so I'm so excited to eat hot pot and warm myself up because I have not been outside in like probably like a week ever since snow came down. I've just been cooped up inside, binging Game of Thrones, playing League of Legends, just being so lazy. I literally love hot pot so much. I used to not be a hot pot girl. But it wasn't until I tried mixing the spicy broth with the regular broth that I was hooked. I was like, this is so delicious. It's so mummy. It's so flavorful. It comes with a ton of meat. And I love meat. And absolutely no vegetables inside. Oh, it's a really, really long noodle. Test. So good. Jeff said his butt's gonna burn tomorrow, but like, look at my bra. And then look at his bra. <laughs> Tip that I have for hot pot is always leave like the broth spoons on the side and like not in the actual broth pots because like if the broth spoon falls into this, it gets really really hot because the entire spoon is metal. And then when you grab it, it will like literally burn your hand. Like not not that I've done that or anything, but like just letting you guys know. The man sitting next to us asked if Jeff could help his son make a hot pot bowl because he's never had hot pot before. Jeff is definitely father material. Alright. This is my fortune. I actually do love reading, so it's very accurate for me. We absolutely destroyed this broth. What the heck? We got dessert at Culver's. We got a concrete mixer vanilla with peanut butter. And then Jeff got a shake, but for some reason they gave him like this like really weird cup and it literally has like a gaping hole, so I don't know how he's supposed to drink this shake without spilling all over him. So I'm going to end the night just eating ice cream and watching the last season of Game of Thrones. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Also, stay tuned for my Texas vlogs because like I'm probably going to try to vlog in Texas. Hope you guys had a great holidays and I will see you in my next video. Right